Hey everyone, uh, so my name is Papa and today I'm going to show you guys the, the floating tomb farm. And you know, it's a very good farm because it's really good for uh, leveling really quickly and at the same time it provides an insane amount of legendary, especially on Mayhem 3. So to get started, you need to make sure that you're far enough in the story that you've unlocked the floating tomb. And to do that, you need to make sure you've unlocked uh, Eden 6. And secondly, you need to make sure that you have the grenade called a uh, proselyte pipe bomb because this is the one thing that you need because it'll one hit the boss and to do that you need to make sure you've done the quest raiders of the lost rock once you do this you'll get the grenade and at that point you're pretty much ready to start the farm once you're in the floating tomb what you're gonna do is you're gonna go here and you're just gonna oh make sure you're always stocked up on grenades and then you're just gonna go down and start the fight start the farm it's right here. When you come to this stage, I feel like it's better to just kind of stay on your feet. It's time uh, to fight! Press W and just keep jumping to avoid, you know, falling and sliding on. And then once that stage passes, go right to the edge. So you're gonna stand on the edge and you're gonna lob the grenades at the beard. Um, and you're gonna hope that you can do that when you go in. But sometimes you can So this is again Mayhem 3, and on Mayhem 3, I just got 4 legendaries. There was once where I got 5 legendaries, and that doesn't even include the epics that you get. And, you know, you just rinse and repeat this. Uh, once you're done, you know, you take all your legendaries. Uh, take any epics you might be interested in. Also, um, if you're interested in more loot, you can actually enter this vault. And you know, there's like 5 chests inside that you can hit up for more loot. But if you're doing this just for leveling purposes, and, and if you just want speed, then it's probably best to just quit game, uh, quit to main menu. Once you get there, uh, come back into the game, and you're gonna be gonna, gonna be spot right into the floating tomb. And um, sometimes you're gonna have your grenade, sometimes you won't. Um, and you just repeat the process as you just see. And you know, I'm, I'm gonna show you a second run just to kind of show you that you know, for me. It's not I still don't know exactly what the best spot for the grenades is. I, I feel like it's the, the, That's the spirit. in the middle, but I'm not really sure. Uh, um, but yeah, let's see if we can pull this out the second time in a row. Um, it's rare for me to get this uh, done in a row. Because again, I'm just not fully sure what exactly where they're going to be. You know, sometimes. No grenades left. Sometimes it is the exact spot, and sometimes it goes in both ways. And if that happens, honestly, what I do is I just here I got it two times in a row. Sometimes you won't. In that case, just quit game and try again. It's fine. Now let's see what we get here. So again, just three legendaries this time, and again, it's not too bad. And you know, once you're done, you just restart, and you know, again, keep doing it as many times as you want. I know there's other farms um, right now that are out. But I personally feel like this is the best farm because not only does it give you great loot, um, the checkpoint is the closest, and at the same time it gives you the most amount of XP so you can get to level 50. And I think that's why this is probably one of the best farms out there. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video. Subscribe and hit the bell. I stream regularly on Twitch so you can follow me on there. And uh, thanks for watching guys. Have a good day. Good luck. Perfect. Perfect.